In a couple days, my doubles partner Jenny and I are heading to Boston to row in the head of the Charles Regatta in the inclusion double event, which is one para rower and one able bodied rower. And we will be the first collegiate entry in that event in the history of the head of the Charles. My name is Pearl Outlaw, I'm a sophomore at Ithaca College, um, majoring in exercise science and minoring in sports psychology, and I am a scholar on the varsity women's rowing team. So the beginning is really when I was nine years old, I was, I was diagnosed with a genetic disorder that um, basically means that my vision is slowly deteriorating so I have much less vision than I did when I was when I was younger um, I could really pass as just a, a normal you know able kid um, and it wasn't until about freshman or sophomore year of high school when I really started struggling vision wise having to use my cane to travel and not being able to do as many things independently which is kind of hard because it's a big transition period anyway you know going into high school and um, just that age I hadn't really done any sports previous to that, but I started getting into swimming. I ran cross country in high school. So I started getting more active and wanting to kind of branch out and do more things. And I think a teacher at my school was doing a learn to row program at 5.45 in the morning over the summer. And she was wondering if anyone wanted to join her. And I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. Let's do it. From the, from the get go, from day one, I realized that it was uh, something I could do and not feel different and not feel like oh man, if only I could see better, I could do all, you know, I could be good at this. It was, it was something where I, from you know, the minute I got in the boat, I was like, wow, this is, this is easy. It was something that I didn't have to struggle with, and um, I really was drawn to it. I think para sports in general, people often think of it's just people, you know, in wheelchairs, that kind of thing, you know, and they, also, uh, they often get um, Paralympics and Special Olympics confused. Um, the Paralympics is, it's immediately after the, the Olympics, the able-bodied Olympics. Um, so we go to the same places we travel, we use the same facilities, um, and it's pretty much um, anyone who has a physical impairment from amputees to people who have, you know, nerve damage or anything that kind of inhibits their, their moving and their way of movement and visual impairments are kind of included in that. Um, when you look at rowing, there are different classifications. Um, based on the different parts of the body you can use. And I think the new classifications are, they call it, um, PR3 is the entire body, PR2 is just the trunk and arms, and then PR1 is arms and shoulders. So they basically classify you, and then you wouldn't have, like people who wouldn't be able to use their full bodies competing against people who wouldn't, so they, they keep it a level playing field. Para rowing used to only do a thousand meters, whereas able-bodied rowers would do 2K in the Olympics. Um, they now changed it, so uh, they're each doing 2,000 meters, um, which is really cool because it's it's just bringing us equal to the able-bodied athletes who compete, you know, a couple weeks before us. I definitely am thinking about Tokyo in 2020 for the Paralympics. I guess it started this summer when I was rowing with CRI, which is based in Boston, with their paranational selection camp. Um, I was there training with them and that kind of was um, was the first stepping stone and this is just kind of another stepping stone getting there because it is a, a really big and high pressure race so um, you know just getting out there in those you know high pressure situations and environments where we really have to perform and perform well um, that's just preparing for um, you know being selected to go to Tokyo being competitive in in uh, the the 2020 selection camp and then you know being able to go and compete and be competitive in uh, in the Paralympics. What's Jenny like? <laughs> um, we make a good team um, because we trust each other we know we, we know that we we both have you know the ability to do what we're gonna do this weekend. We row very well together we match up really well. I trust her she trusts me um, and together we you know, I wouldn't be able to do it without, uh, without her and, and vice versa, so yeah, it really is a kind of unspoken relationship between bow and stroke and a double. We move the boat together, so that's all that really matters. I was always that kind of person that when someone would compliment me or they'd, you know, tell me I was doing a good job, I'd be like, eh, well, you know, I don't think so really that much, but I think 
going to this race and, and leading up to it, I feel like it's not going to be the kind of situation where we're going to go and kind of you know, be beat by all these people. It, it feels like we're really on par with the other people that are, that are entered in our race. And so I feel really confident that we can go and be, be competitive, which is really exciting. Um, and so I am really e eager to get out there and really represent both Ithaca and, you know, represent, you know, ourselves, Jenny and I too, you know, just show, just show everyone um, who's watching and the other people in the race that we are out there to make, make moves and out there to, you know, make an impact and, you know, take down some boats. So <laughs> I'm really excited.